cars spread out all over the street as they filled with water. People tried to beat the rain and drive as the roads filled up, but they lost. Water levels quickly got dangerously high, forcing some people to abandon their cars. Now, Wink News anchor Annette Montgomery joins us live in Cape Coral. Annette, did the dive team have to rescue people last night? Amanda, they did. The fire department told me they received over a dozen calls from drivers who either drove right into a retention pond or others who saw it happen. Now, they did tell me luckily there were no injuries, but their dive team did have to perform several rescue missions yesterday as people either got stuck in flood waters or ditched their cars altogether. One car, two car, gold car, blue car. That's what Beth Rizzo and her husband, who lives on Chiquita Boulevard, woke up to. The uh, cops were out this morning and were pretty much cars were actually in the road as they saw dozens of stranded vehicles in front of their home. It looked like parking lot all the way down. Cape police confirmed they received 155 reports of disabled and flooded vehicles. One belonged to Eileen Johnson's niece. When she's coming home from work. I got a call from her. She was frantic. She turned out here and then everything just cut cut off and she couldn't move. And uh, she was getting some power, but the, the car just wouldn't start. Start, And there's other cars out here, but he was just leaving their cars. The city's fire department told me pretty much everywhere south of Pine Island roads saw a lot of flooding. In some areas, it was so bad, drivers couldn't tell where the roadway ended and drove straight into retention ponds. The firefighters were immediately able to don their dive gear and get into the ponds. While they were there, um, even though they tried to get the driver's attention, another car drove into the same retention pond. And so the firefighters immediately went back into the water to help that driver out safely. And take a look this afternoon. We're on Everest Parkway in Cape Coral, where you can see there is still some ponding. Now, we're seeing that across Cape Coral. So a few reminders today. One, do not attempt to drive through standing water. And two, do not let your children or pets play in it, as there's a lot of bacteria and chemicals that can be in those waters. Live in Cape Coral, Annette Montgomery, Wink News.